Alrighty, folks. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another Banished episode. A uh, couple things have probably changed since last time. I got a few. I got the extra Forester Lodge, another Gatherer up here. Doing good work for the most part. Uh, we got. Uh, I put another Gatherer here. Doing good work as well. Just trying to get that food up a little bit. I've also add, put my herbalist over here. We got the hunting cabin and the gatherer's hut. And then another foresters with another hunting lodge. Okay. Lots going on. I've had my first few deaths. Yes. Let's see if we can go back a little bit. Yeah, see. Builder died of old age. That's a shame. But there's worse things that can happen to you. Uh... <laughs> So basically, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. We're we're getting some good stuff down here. We got four laborers. We're up to a whole bunch of people. Year twelve. Uh, I started playing around with crops. Oh my lord, something's so noisy. I've started playing around with some crops in a little test world that I fired up, and. I kind of decided that a 7x7 seven seven crop is pretty effective because you only need uh, one person to work the field and you still get a 100% yield. Compared to say a 15x15, 15 15, you need 4, so you save a little bit. Not much, but I don't know, it seems to work pretty good. I like it. I think it's a good idea. Uh, the 15 by 15 isn't too, too bad, though. But, as you can see, lots of farms. Lots of, you know, the orchards producing. Stuff like that. We're doing pretty good. Our resources are getting a little bit better. My logs are doing a little bit better. And I'm maintaining food throughout the summer, which is pretty good. We'll find out soon enough if I do in winter as well. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, we'll see. But we definitely have some people that are getting older and less babies are being produced. Okay? I've noticed that as well. Um, but luckily we have quite a strong population base, I find. And... By theory, we even need another house, so let's place that down here first. Right there, perfect. Okay, we'll get that going, and uh, and see how it goes. Okay, uh, let's put on some builders. Lots of fun, uh, doing lots of things. I think my goal for this episode is to set up a trading post, and I'm thinking of having like all my pastures out here so you know get the uh, trading post and maybe we can work on some pastures they seem to me like they might be a little bit more of an end game type uh, type building um, these stockpiles have also done quite a good job for me nothing crazy but pretty darn good job uh, yeah so see food's still dipping a little low I'd like that to go up a little bit more, but we're kind of lacking people as well. So uh, we'll find out soon enough when winter hits. And for that, let's speed it up a little bit. Let's get a little more speed here. Excellent. We just got another adult. That is beautiful. Uh, we should get people moving into this house almost immediately when it is done. As we're now into the early summertime. Uh, I might put down another house, just because I'm a little worried. I don't want, I do not want old age to kill this town. A couple of the things, I put down a well there, and I put down a well right there as well, behind the tree. Uh, just a little insurance. Fires can take place, and you probably want a well for that. Okay, so... Definitely something to keep in mind. I'm not sure if my blacksmith is actually keeping up either. I'm trying to 
trying to micromanage some of these things becomes a little bit more difficult as you get a little further into the game. Uh, but food is definitely still a problem. Excellent. A new child has been born. That is always a wonderful sight. Uh, but we can definitely expand our population quite a bit. Quite a bit. Just by placing down some houses and getting all of that going. Uh, let's place another one down right there. Starving, you just moved in. Go get some food. Okay, not bad. Couple warnings coming up here and there, but it doesn't seem like we're actually dipping below. I think we're doing pretty good overall. The market has been really good for me. Uh, we've had no issues whatsoever, and hopefully these farms are. We'll see the food jump up a little bit more. That's kind of what I'm hoping. Uh, everything else is doing quite good, I find. Um, I'd actually like to get some more fishers uh, going. Okay, we'll do eight of four and three of four, so that should give us eight of each. You should have a job. Yeah, that's what I thought, chump. Um, so that should help our food a little bit more again. Uh, we have a decent amount of lumber, laborers, and our food is skyrocketing pretty fast. And we have quite a bit of firewood. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good at the moment. And I think come next summertime, I'm going to look at getting a trading post up. So let me play along here. And I'll be back once we get to next spring, summer, or unless something terrible happens. Let's hope it's not that. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so it's still winter. Uh, we had just a whole bunch of people get born, which is kind of skew screwing up my numbers a little bit. Uh, but what can you do, right? Okay, and let's find a nice place for the trading post. So I'm thinking right about there would be quite good. Uh, we have a whole bunch of laborers and stuff, so I don't think that'll be a huge issue. And let's just make sure our road is coming out nicely. Like so, and all the way across. Beautiful. Just to get that speed going up a little bit more. Um, I removed some trees and stuff. It seems like we're pretty much out of a few things. Um, I might not actually have enough stone. I thought I did. Oh, well, we'll find out soon enough, won't we? 63. There's still some people coming. Our food's getting a little low for winter, so I would love to get these herds up and running. So I'm pretty sure I should have enough. But we're starting to warm up a little bit again. We're getting into the late winter. Mind you, here in Calgary, where I live, it's still quite cold. <laughs> it's so not fair. Okay, let's double check. Oh, it looks like we're very close. If we're not... Uh, Looks like we're very close if we're not. Let's quickly remove a few more resources all the way out here. Tons of kids, tons of birth. I mean, we have 27 at the moment, uh, which is pretty darn good. Yeah, it looks like... I thought I had more iron than that, but I guess not. So let me collect some iron here and all that fun stuff, and we'll be back shortly when this trading post gets built up okay okay so it's building now that's good that's very good uh, we'll get some builders going I'm also setting up a bridge here because they can't get to this iron which I didn't realize um, I guess that makes sense they can't really cross a river but holy cow we have had a ton of people and that might not be a good thing. <laughs> we will.
we'll have to find out soon enough. Uh, so let's do another 7 by s can't right there. That's right. Um, I'm a little torn on what to do with food. I was hoping to have this done already. A couple other things. I'm kind of low. Oh. Another died of old age. Um, but as you can see, others are moving into the houses. Uh, so now we're going to be kind of testing the waters on, you know, the age of people and where they can move to. So Maddie just died. Um, lots of deaths coming in, but most of them are old age, which is a good thing. Okay. Um, okay, let's do that right there. I want another house. Reserve of iron is low, I know. Uh, trading post is almost done. So let's set up a quick pasture. I want to set it up right here. As big as I can get it. We'll do a 16 by 12 for now. The first thing that we're going to be looking to build is getting some of those animals. I think that that's going to be a pretty good solution for our food. It would be nice to have for sure. Um, but, I mean, we're running really low on iron, running really low on tools. I might need another blacksmith. And our clothing is going very, very fast. So we might need to make quite a few uh, changes here. Um, I am thinking of adding another blacksmith and another tailor. But before I can add another blacksmith, I'll probably need a mine. So, and our trading post is pretty much done. Excellent. So this guy here is pretty nice. We can assign a few people. Take all those off builders. Oops. One too many clicks. Um, we can assign a few people to the trading post. And we can set the inventory here of items that we're willing to maybe trade. So, say we do 200 firewood, for example. That'll be stored here. Uh, but we can also look to purchase. Okay. And you can get different fruits and veggies. And different meats and stuff like that as well. But we can also trade. Okay. Um, so let me just... Okay. Yeah. No. We want to work it. Okay. We'll get all five. I'm going to look to, uh, let's bring meats and stuff up, up in priority list. Now I'm not sure exactly how this works, uh, it's been a while since I messed around. Uh, the number of items to automatically purchase, I don't really want to automatically purchase, but We'll do what we have to do. Uh, let's bring in 140 of that. Let's bring in... I don't really want to get rid of any food at this point in time. Or herbs or anything like that. Let's do 100 cherries. And we'll see if something actually pops up. Maybe we can get uh, a few trades going. Or maybe we can look to... Uh, Yeah, maybe we'll look to get some purchases and stuff. So, I'll monitor this. In the meantime, uh, we need to get some more people doing stuff. And I just got a whole bunch of iron, mainly because I harvested out that entire area. But I'm kind of thinking that we should, you know, maybe look at some of these more advanced things. Like a mine, for example. Wouldn't be bad. Coal and iron. I'm sure those are both quite useful. Um, and maybe even a quarry. Let's you mine more stone. Big thing that I wonder is, can you put it up on a mountain? Uh, okay, so the entrance has to be off a mountain. So, like... Oh man, these things are going to be tough to place. Wow. Wow. 
Wowzers. You kind of need a flat little space. Okay, so something like there. Yeah, okay. So I could place a mine down. We're kind of lacking in the stone department, though, more than we are the iron. Um, holy cow, I just had a whole bunch of children. So before we do that, let's place down another tailor. Okay. Um, all of our hunting lodges and stuff are over here. So I'd like to keep it somewhat close. But I don't think I'm going to have that option. So we'll place it down right there. That'll be good. Uh, let's get some builders going here. And I feel like it's already going a little quick. Okay. Um, we'll need to do a few things here. So there's a big iron and stone deposit here. I just need the stone though. And lots of it. So let's kind of do a nice big area of mining up some stone. Hopefully that'll be helpful. And let's check on the trading post. Okay, so you're not working because you don't have any animals. Okay. I need some animals, please. And thank you. I don't really have it set to auto purchase or anything. I'm sure that I could get this to be quite nice. Um, but we need to we need to get some trade going on. And it would be very nice if we could get some quickly. <laughs> no pressure. None whatsoever. Okay. Uh I'm just going to move some more stone here and there. Because that's kind of what I'm lacking. And you do need a decent amount, even if I were to build a quarry. So I'm thinking we'll do another house. Uh, let's do two more houses, like so. And we're definitely going to need a blacksmith. So, uh, because I'm planning on putting my mine up here... I'm thinking we should put the blacksmith in and around that area. Maybe there's... Maybe we can just build a road through. Uh, so we got a problem. We might need to do a tunnel. Can't do a tunnel through there either. Maybe a bridge? No. Can we do a stone road through there? No, we can't do any road through there. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, so I might have to remove this farm to get around there, but that's okay. Um, for now, we'll look to maybe expand out there a little bit. And we'll get our blacksmith down, because we definitely need another one. I was hoping to put a, something else here, but that'll do the job. Okay. So we're doing pretty good. I think it's all going quite well. Uh, I think I'm at a long enough video. If not, I apologize. It feels like a long video. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully all pans out nicely. And I'll see you soon. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Bye-bye for now.